please subscribe to Super Saddler's Set. Right then, guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm doing a match review as we complete the double this season over Port Vale, winning 3 1 away of Vale Park. Before we get into this video, if you're going to enjoy it, please leave it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Dale Clark made two changes to the side that drew 1 1 in the week against Morecambe. Alfie Bates and Tyree Wright coming into the team. Port Vale also made two changes with David Worrell and Curtis Guthrie coming into the side and playing a 4-3-3 formation. The host had a handful of set pieces in the opening five minutes but it's Walsall who took the lead and made it 1-0. Alfie Bates put a brilliant lofted pass over the Port Vale defence and Adam Bow was there to tuck it home through Scott Brown's legs. Um, there was suggestions that it was offside but the linesman didn't raise the flag. Tyree Wright, who made his first debut for the club today, put a decent ball in on the left from a free kick to Matt Sadler, but his effort was saved. But Port Vale started to put on the pressure and they had some couple of decent chances with Tom Conlon and Zach Mills all having chances. After 33 minutes, Port Vale scored and equalised to make it 1-1. Tom Conlon had a free kick from around 35 yards out and it seemed to go through Liam Roberts' legs to go into the net. It was the host that finished the first half the better with David Amu and David Worrell causing problems and putting balls into the box but both teams went into half time drawing 1-1. There's a slight tactical change at half time for the Saddlers with Wes McDonald going behind Elijah Adebayo and Josh Gordon moving out to the left like we did against Morecambe. This tactical change seemed to work as 10 minutes into the second half, Walsall scored to make it 2-1 at Vale Park. Tyree Wright, who came from Villa in this January transfer window, caught on to his left foot and put a brilliant ball into a large Radabayo who couldn't miss and got his 10th goal of the season and got his second to make it 2-1. Tyree Wright played brilliant in the second half and this showed as he put some brilliant balls into the box as the Saddlers made it 3-1 in the 68th minute. There was a very very strange circumstance which happened to this goal. David Fitch passed Trick, played a ball back to Scott Brown in goal, but it bobbled over his foot and it made it 3-1 to the Saddlers with around 22 minutes left. There was a handful of changes after that third goal with Frank Vincent coming on for his debut as he signed from AFC Bournemouth in the week on loan. In the final stage of the game, the game started to go a bit scrappy as the Vale were looking to get that goal to get back into the game, but Walsall stood firm and defended very well. Paul Vale's danger man Tom Conlon was trying to look for them balls to get him behind, but it just wasn't working out for him, and the Saddlers held on to a 3-1 win and took all three points back to the Bescott Stadium. What a massive win! As we've been on a dry patch without a win in a while, it's massive to get the three points today over Port Vale and we've done the double over them this season, home and away. I thought the first half was very scrappy, the pitch didn't help, but starting the half, I thought we started well, the first 25 minutes looked, looked comfortable and we got that goal and we looked like we've been commanding position, but Port Vale grew into the game and Tom Collins' strike to get that equaliser was brilliant and had dominated the rest of the first half. But second half was a very professional performance, and we deserved all three points. Absolutely buzzing for a large round of bio to get a brace, which takes him up to 10 goals this season. I thought he's brilliant today, and that will give him a lot of confidence. He's also been offered by Hart, but Walsall have rejected it, and we'll be looking to give him a new contract very soon. I thought when Tom Conlon scored that free kick, I thought, here we go again, we're going to get another point but we did very well to come from behind and get two goals today. Tyree Roy, I thought on the ball he was very good. He had a very good delivery on him and looks like a very good addition. Also Frank Vincent when he came on, um, we got him from Bournemouth in the week. He looked very tidy, putting him some good passes. I've mentioned him a lot in this video, but Tom Conlon was class in the midfield. He was good in the first meeting at the Best Scott Stadium, but today he commanded the Port Vale team when they went forward. There were some good performances from some good players today. Dan Scott and Matt Sadler were solid at the back. Also, I thought Kinsella again was brilliant in the midfield. Um, Josh Gordon and Ty Wright going forward were decent. But I'm going to give man of the match to Elijah Adeboyo. Getting a brace, I can't complain, and I thought he was brilliant. One of the best games I think he's played this season. Overall, I'm buzzing with the three points that we grinded out a win. And we bet Port Vale today 3-1. The next game is another week on next Saturday against Mansfield Town at home. Hopefully we can build on today's performance and three points. And get another three points against Mansfield Town. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm trying to get to 1.2k subscribers as soon as possible. So if you help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave your thoughts on today's game. And up the saddlers.